My name is Hamsha Mahalinga Sivam and I'm a registered oncology nurse. I finished my Bachelor of Science in Nursing from the University of Toronto. My clinical expertise is in oncology medicine and I worked at the Sunnybrook Health Science Center in the Medical and Radiation Oncology Unit for several years before moving into the field of academics. So what inspired me to become an instructor for future PSW students is on the unit I absolutely loved working with students, uh, nursing students and PSW students, and I was often asked to be a preceptor. So that got me thinking, how can I combine my love of teaching and healthcare into one? And that brought me to become a PSW instructor. Students uh, also learn um, infection control and prevention and patient safety, which is really, really important. So we talk about um, the chain of infection, personal protective equipment, how to work with uh, biohazardous material, WMIS protocols. Students are taught um, patient safety. So what happens if a patient falls? We talk about restraint use. Um, students will absolutely learn human body. So we are in the human body business. So students have to know about the complex systems. We work with students um, in very detailed. Students learn complex illnesses as well, how to care for the various type of illnesses they might encounter. So diabetes, um, cardiovascular diseases. Students also uh, get training in foundations of mental health. So students will learn about the various mental illnesses and mental wellness that we might see in our patient population, Alzheimer's disease, dementia, how to care for that. And students have a, a final course in palliative care or end of life care, which we um, work with students and teach them how to care for someone who's terminally ill, how to support uh, patients and families at the end of life, uh, post-mortem care, what are the signs and symptoms. So there are really we, and we literally train uh, students to take care of patients across the demographics. We have pediatrics, geriatrics, and complex continuing care issues for all patients. Students uh, enjoy all aspects of the program, but one of the three uh, the three top uh, areas of the program students enjoy is definitely the laboratory part. This is where they get to play. They get to role play. They get to play with the medical equipment, the lifts, the bed. They get to interact with each other. They um, we have students uh, learning how to uh, communicate and give report. So it's really hands on. The PSW program and the hybrid program offers a CPR class in the beginning. It's one of the first modules they do. They're in the labs. Uh, they're in the classrooms working with a certified CPR instructor learning basic life-saving skills which they then, then can bring to their own lives as well and then finally what students really enjoy is parts of the program that have meaning to them I've had students come back after we did the palliative lecture, palliative module and say now I understood what my grandmother was going through when she was dying because of the terminology we learned or the process some students come back and say after we talked about diabetes I know now what my mom is going through so they're able to connect their own personal lives with what they're learning and be better advocates for themselves and their families. Anyone can take the PSW program. There are some uh, criteria they have to meet, but if someone is uh, passionate about helping others, have an interest in medical care, is highly adaptable and flexible have, with excellent time management skills, this might be a program for them. There are a couple of criteria that students have to meet for this medical-based program. So first is um, students either have to be 18 or over with a high school diploma. If they don't have one, they have to pass a qualifying ex uh, examination part of the admissions process. And so there is an English proficiency part of that as well. Secondly, students must clear a vulnerable sector check. So as healthcare workers, PSW, um, we work with vulnerable individuals. So pediatric, geriatrics, and clients with mental and physical disabilities. So it's a police check, but it's a vulnerable sector check uh, students have to pass. Thirdly, Students have to have, there is a vaccination and immunization protocol. So students have to prove that they are vaccinated against TB, tuberculosis, hepatitis, and now the COVID-19 vaccine, because we work very closely with patients that are very immunocompromised. And then finally, there is a medical assessment component. So students are given a medical form, they have to go to their family doctor and the doctor fills it out. Uh, uh, healthcare, you know, PSW work is very physical in nature. So students have to have the ability to move around. There is a lifting component as well. So if there are chronic issues or mobility issues that might be challenging for students but um, if students can meet those criteria and they have a passion for learning then they can join the PSW program. So right now the job prospects for PSW is unparalleled. There is a huge gap at the front lines right now. We have uh, for several reasons. 
The COVID-19 pandemic has really brought to life how fragile our healthcare is and the need for chronic assistance for our citizens across the lifespan. Canadian population is also aging, so there's a lot more people living with chronic diseases and issues that they need support. So there's a demand for frontline PSWs. And thirdly, a lot of uh, frontline healthcare workers are entering the age of retirement. So there's going to be a huge gap that needs to be filled. Most job opportunities for students and graduates are going to be in facility-based care. So long-term care, nursing homes, um, retirement centers, adult day programs, but also in home care as well. More and more people are being discharged earlier, so they're going home as part of their healing journey. So a lot of our PSW graduates work with agencies and in home care as well. But right now, if you want to get into healthcare, it's going to be right now. So my word of advice for future students is if you are willing to work hard, you're dedicated to helping others and you have a passion for lifelong learning, then personal care work might be for you. I truly find it a privilege to work with someone probably during one of the most scariest and saddest and loneliest part of their life. You know, having an illness can be isolating, it can be terrifying, but as healthcare workers, when we uh, provide care and compassion to someone, we are forever part of their illness journey. And so if you love helping people and really want to make a difference, then PSW work might be your calling.